What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. We got some exciting news. Saints Bro back in the game. Hopefully. Happy Friday! <laughs> Happy Friday, YouTube. Listen, you guys. So I'm excited to say, now a couple of months ago, uh, this whole thing of the new Saints Row 5 being in the works, right? Um, so, actually it's one of them that said, one blog, one article, whatever, says Dead Island 2 and Saints Row 5 are still in the works. I was surprised because I kind of wanted to play Dead Island 2, like after seeing the trailer, like running in the... The bay and all that, and the zombies, everybody turning into zombies and shit. I wanted to play that, but I guess the shit got pushed back, and I'm like, well, damn, is it coming out still? But anyway, let's get into this article real quick, and then I'm going to give y'all my take on what I think they should do. No, what they should do, period, if it's yet to be revealed. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this article is from denofgreek.com by Matthew Bird, okay? Or beard, bird, byrid, byrin. Um, so it says, read along, shall we? Um, Kosh or Kosh Media CEO Clemens, excuse me, a Kundratitz. All right, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Has confirmed that a new Saints Row game will be revealed in 2020. This follows the news that Saints Row 4 is deep. Oop, did I say four? I meant to say Saints Row 5 is deep in development, which we heard earlier in the year, as I said earlier in this video. Um, Saints Row is very close to our hearts. Yes, it is. And we'll talk about it next year, okay? We'll call, we're going to call him Kundra, okay? I don't want to, you know, butcher this man's last name. Says in an interview with GamesIndustry.biz, for the time being, we just wanted to get the word out, which I'm glad they did, that it's coming and it's going to be great. It's going to be great is a pretty vague promise so far as actual information goes. It also doesn't address certain elephants in the room as it concerns the state of the Saints Row franchise. Specifically, we're talking about the negative reception of the Saints Row spinoff Ages of Bullshit, I mean Ages of Mayhem, and how its related failures may have resulted in layoffs at developer volition. You think? So as far as that goes, Kundra says that Kosh or Kosh still considers Agents of Mayhem, <coughs> Agents of Bullshit, to be separate from the Saints Row brand. Thank you, because that was none of Saints Row. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Anyway, let's go back. Um, Saints Row is Saints Row, says Kundra Tits. Um, the, two <laughs> the two games are similar for sure, but they're also completely different. With Volition, we have the creators of all the Saints Row games as an internal studio and they're not going to be distracted by anything else from creating our next game under this important franchise. That sounds nice and all, but it remains to be seen whether or not Saints Row still has enough left in the tank. Saints Row made a name for itself as the more absurd, uh, absurd counterpart to the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Two completely different games, though, y'all. Let's just get that straight. But even the still entertaining Saints Row 4 made it seem like the franchise may be running out of gas. I mean, well, what do you expect? How you go from shooting gangbangers to aliens? But we're going to talk about that after all this. We're also curious whether or not this will end up being a next-gen game, considering that the PS5 and Xbox Scarlet are expected to be released in 2020. More news as we hear it. Okay, so you guys, um, if you wanted to check that article out for yourself, um, I will leave the link in the description. This is from Den of Geek. It's, I say Greek, I meant to say denofgeek.com by Matthew Bird. Anyway, so I'm excited to hear about this news and I cannot wait to see what they say. Um, I don't know if they're going to announce it at E3. I wouldn't be surprised, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they have a trailer coming out or even before them. Either way, though, I'll be um, waiting to hear the news about Saints Row 5. So, th I meant to make this video a couple of months back, but I never got the chance to. You know, I just didn't happen. But anyway, we're here now. So, thank you all for watching, by the way. Um, so, with that being said. With that... <laughs> With that being said, let's talk about the um, 
the rise and fall, I would say, of Saints Row. Um, Saints Row for me, I played the first one I played was Saints Row Two. I didn't even know that it was a one. I didn't know it was like a sequel thing. You know, I was still young at that time. Um, one of my cousins was playing. I was visiting for the summertime, and he was playing it. And I'm like, what game is this, you know? And I'm like, I want this shit. So when I got with my ass back home, I definitely bought it. And I had me a good ass time playing Saints Row 2, Third Street Saints, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was just really fun. Like, But honestly, for me, when I played it, I did not think of Grand Theft Auto. Like, it may have been similar in some ways, but... You know, in Grand Theft Auto, you didn't really have to do quote-unquote activities to get respect to play missions. You could just go, you, you went to certain locations, You like prime example for um, San Andreas, you went to Smoke House. You picked the wrong house, fool! CJ, all you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ! Yeah, you didn't have to do activities to, to get respect to do missions. You just did the missions and, you, you know, <laughs> you played the game. Um, also, not to mention, every story that Grand Theft Auto has had, it didn't always revolve around gangs. Nico wasn't in no gang. Tommy wasn't in no gang, as far as I remember. Um, Michael and Trevor and them wasn't in no gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm confused. What the fuck? So, for all you butthurt fans out there that was trying to say, oh, Saints Row 5, well, excuse me, Saints Row is just like GTA, Y'all should just mind y'all business because, you see, we literally went from killing gang bangers, you know, any gang that wasn't saints, the saints, to quote-unquote being the president of the United States and that going to hell because aliens took over the world. I mean, for the first half of it, before we got to the missions and stuff, and it being super complex and you had to hack, unhack all the stores and shit and kill these aliens and all this dumbass shit, I was like, where did we go? How did we go from shooting gangbangers to shooting aliens? What? 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 Where did that come from? Excuse, huh? Huh? Where did that come from? Like I said, at first I was kind of liking the idea of being the whole president. But like I said, when that whole alien thing happened and the world apparently blew up and we got sent back into like this dimension, you know what I'm saying, or whatever... It was like a um, a holographic um, universe or whatever com for whatever Kenzie was saying. Okay, it's been a while since I played Saints Row 4. Um, and then the whole get out of hell thing. We went to hell. We were doing all these damn stupid ass activities. The zombies were there. It was just, it, I was like, okay, what, 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 what is this? What is, what is this? And then the graphics... Johnny Gat looked like he got black, bad plastic surgery. I'm like, yo, who is this man? Whose man's is this? The bottom line, they need to go back to its origin. They need to go back to its home, which is Stillwater. Steelport was cool and all, but they need to go back to Stillwater. Stillport, it was a high. But still water is where it's at. And I know most of you watching this right now are agreeing with me. Like, because I read in the comments, I made a comment on a video about um, them saying Saints Row 5 is coming, you know. And I said they just need to bring it back to Stillwater and make it back, you know, bring it back to the gangs. You know what I'm saying? Forget all of that silly shit with killing aliens. That was okay, but it wasn't like the origin of Saints Row. You know what I mean? Like, I could just picture it right now. The baggy clothes, the smoke and the blunts, the spliffs, um, hell, even a pipe, even a bong, a, a bong, a bong, or whatever. And they even had different type of drinks. I don't know if they got all, like, censored with it or whatever. Even the whole activity. Well, it wasn't really a whole. Well, yeah, it was. You know, you went to the gas station and, you know, do, 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 do. Y'all remember what I'm talking about. You know, hey, hey. But, like, seriously, that's what made it worth playing. And, like I said, I enjoyed playing the third game, Saints Row the Third, you know, with the whole wrestler guy and all of that. The, um, what was the name of that damn group? Shit, I forgot. With the damn, the ships and all of that. The, you know, 
technology enhanced advanced crew the guy with the big ass head be tall whatever fuck them people okay y'all know what i'm talking about huh hey huh hey that's you know kanye that we used to. anyway listen volition whoever's going to pick whoever's going to develop saints row 5 because let me see hey siri Y'all, it's literally been six years since Saints Row 4 came out. Do y'all know how long that is? It's been six the fuck years, okay? Six years. And it's been, what, um, the same amount? Hold on. It's been the same amount since GTA 5 has been out. It's, the bottom line is, it's been a long ass time, okay? And all I'ma say is, Volition, THQ, whoever, wherever the fuck y'all at, do this game justice. For all my OG Saints Row players out there, all of my third street Saints. Still water. Not still port, still water. Bring it back to its original, okay? Bump all that alien stuff and make the graphics y'all need to re revamp them graphics because they started looking like action figures on saints row the third and then when we got to the fourth one i'm like what is this what is this what is this shit here they need to fix it and fix it now listen Johnny Gat don't need to have no wax stash hair combed to the back. Bring him back to his OG days. We had the spiked up shit with the hair highlights and all that. He looked like a dope ass dude, okay? And make it look more realistic. Like seriously, you really think that by the time Grand Theft Auto 6 come out, they gonna have these old kitty ass, kitty ass graphics and where it looks plastic and like we're back in the older days with the PlayStation 2s and 1s and Xbox 360s? No. Take your time and do it right. You can do it, take your time, do it right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight, okay? Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. I will not keep saying this, and I'm telling you, if we don't get a trailer right away, the least y'all can do is give us like a poster, a wallpaper to like get us excited, give us like a little sample, cause that's how y'all do, that's how y'all gotta do it. It's like they did with um, Grand Theft Auto V. Um, we got a little quick trailer with Michael, you know, and we got the story of what was going on in Michael's life before exactly we went into um, the full trailer and then so of course the game itself with Michael, um, Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, and Trevor Phillips. Anyway, back to my English. That is the point that I just wanted to make. And I hope people watching this, my Saints Row fans out there, gamers, boys and girls, girls and boys, all of us together. And like I said, Saints Row fans, if you know what I'm saying, you will appreciate this video. The moral of that story is, the moral of this story, don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the haters because this is what they want to do. They want to put stuff down. They want to compare and contrast. If you didn't like the game, you ain't got to play it. You ain't got to bash it and say it's like Grand Theft Auto. It is not like Grand Theft Auto. It is just, it is similar in ways. But other than that, when I played Saints Row 1, 2, like I literally got a whole, I literally asked my mama to give me an Xbox 360 to, so I could play the first one, because I didn't even know it was the first one at first, if that makes sense. Like, I played the first one, I'm like, yo. I felt like I was like in a rap movie or something, like in a music video, but like long. You know what I'm saying? Like the baggy clothes, the chains was moving, all that. And add grills. You know what I'm saying? Like something. Bring it back to Stillwater. That's all I got to say. Bring it back to Stillwater. I want to see Pierce. I want to see Shondi. Okay. I want to see your boy Yat. 
Yeah, I mean, you can even bring some of the new characters from Steelport. I, me personally, I would just want to see Kenzie and Oleg. That's it. That dude, the golf dude with the blue and all that, you could keep his ass down there in Steelport. Nah, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna survive in Steelport. Bunch of niggas everywhere. No. But with that being said, you guys, I hope you all appreciated this video. If you know where I'm coming from, if you were a fan of the original two, especially. Like three was cool as well, but I mean as far as the origin of Saints Row. One and two. Anyways, I was saying, let's bring it back to Stillwater. And I hope that they listen to the fans. Because Ages of Mayhem, like they said, I wouldn't even put that in the Saints Row franchise at all. I've never played it, but seeing the trailer, I was like, this looked like a ripoff of Fortnite. And I don't even like, I don't even play Fortnite. I don't. Like, agents of bullshit. I'm like, who are these people? Who are these people? Who the fuck are these people? What are these graphics? Who are these characters? What? Where's Pierce? Where's Shondi? Where's Oleg? You know, you can keep that. Bring it back to its originality. That's all I got to say. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little rant. Because I had to get it out. Finally got a chance to do this video. And also, also, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Comment below if you agree with what I'm saying. Do you want them to bring it back to the original? Still water. Who are y'all with? Still water, still port. Let me know in the comment section. And out of all of the Saints Row games, which ones were your favorite? Me, you already know. One and two. Boom. That's for real. I can go back and play it right now. PS now or whatever or the Xbox One. Take a pick. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Are you excited? Hopefully Volition or whoever is making this game will do us justice. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys can know when I have a video up and loaded. Thank you all for watching. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Let's get ready for the holidays coming up soon. New year coming up soon. Go um, check out my Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, get ready for content on there as well. Thank you all for watching. It's Taylor Rain. And I'm out. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. <laughs>